So hey there guys and welcome back to Genius Apple and welcome back to the Artemis Fall series. Now today is a very special episode due to the fact that this is the last episode of the Artemis Fall series. I'm happy due to the support I've received during this entire series and I'm happy for all of you who have given me the views and of course those of you who have subscribed well you're in for a treat today because if you haven't seen the previous videos you might want to start again with this entire series and if you have then of course welcome back to the uh, Artemis Fall series and let's go ahead with the last book now I'm probably gonna do a part two of this video as well because um, I want the Artemis Fall series to stay alive for a bit more time and of course I want to build up a bit of a mystery as to what is gonna happen in this book and by this book I am talking about Artemis Fall and the Last Guardian. The author of the book is Owen Colfer and we are back into the series. So this is the cover of the book. Uh, you know somebody dropped something here so I know but um, we're back into the series and let's get on with the review. Page quality beautiful. Cover perfectly designed and well um, what else can we say? The books of Artemis Fall are just completely amazing. So let's get on with the summary. Now in this book it opens with um, uh, uh, Artemis's twin brothers Miles and Beckett Fowl. They are both um, in the training class with um, Artemis's bodyguard, Juliet Butler. You know, various activities happen which uh, are not really important discussing in this video, but and so they have their own practices and all. But what exactly happens is, I'll give you a brief reading of the summary at the back. Opal Cowboy, yeah, she's back again. <laughs> Opal Cowboy. Our crazed pixie is plotting to exterminate mankind and become fairy queen. That, that's a far-fetched dream. If she succeeds, the spirit of long-dead fairy warriors will rise from the earth, inhabit the nearest available bodies and wreak mass destruction. Basically what happens is long-lost warriors who were dead in a battle, Opal Cowboy raised them using dark magic because as you know in the book with time travel which included you know Artemis fighting with himself if you've seen my previous video you might know uh, the 18 year old Artemis fighting with the 10 year old Artemis that's what that's what had happened in um, you know in that book if you've seen the video you'd know if you haven't I suggest that you go and watch that to completely understand the basic knowledge of this book so basically in that book what happens is um, of course if you want to watch that video make sure to uh, click the link in the description below I'll be titling it so that you'll come to know um, what happens is there are two Artemis, uh, Artemis Falls who fight but they become friends later on but then there are also two Opal Cowboys in, this, uh, in that present time stream one that came from the past and one that was presently there um, the one which was presently there didn't make any appearance in the book but obviously she was there, she didn't die. So she using connections with her older self, her past self, Opal Cowboy, she gained some black magic and through that black magic, she raised the Berserkers. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Yeah, it's the Berserkers. I, I'm not kidding. It's literally written Berserkers. I know you cannot see that, but it's written Berserkers. So she raises the Berserkers who are dead warriors from long, long time back to inhabit uh, the bodies of any living organisms nearby. It can be an animal, it can be a human being, but it'll be really unlucky if it's an organism like a bacteria or mitochondria in a cell of a nucleus, anything can be possessed, but that'll be unlucky if it's something that small. So what happens is the Berserkers, they inhabit the nearest bodies, but the nearest bodies also happen to be the three people which I started out in the, you know, um, starting of my review. That's right. The berserkers also inhabited the bodies of Miles Fowl, Beckett Fowl, and Juliet Butler. Now you must be thinking Miles and Beckett Fowl are pretty small children, so they're not really a big of threat. But Miles and Beckett Fowl have obviously inherited some 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 characteristics of the berserker who is possessing their body and they've also inherited the strength of that berserker the abilities the skill of that berserker the fighting skill to wield weapons and attack with numerous moves and Juliet Butler she herself is a pretty good fighter 
and when possessed with the body of an already very good fighter that had to have you know a double effect so this time Artemis you know he is reunited with his family everything is fine up till the part where he realizes Opal Cowboy is back to wreak havoc and how many people in the past have actually played the most major role in defeating Opal Cowboy let's count Artemis Fall Holy shot, Artemis Fall, Holy shot, Artemis Fall, Holy shot. And needless to say, Butler and Foley as well. But the main main people were Artemis Fall, Holy shot, Artemis Fall, Holy shot. And Captain Holy shot, uh, Foley, Butler and Artemis are back again to stop Opal Cowboy. I'll end the summary. Yeah, it's true. Criminal mastermind Artemis Fall's four-year-old brothers, like I said, they're pretty small, can, could be in, involved in destroying the human race. Can Artemis and Captain Holly shot of the LEP, the Lord Elements Police, stop Opal and prevent the end of the world? Up till now, Opal Cowboy had planned to become the queen of all humans. And that she noticed were a, was a pretty far-fetched plan. So what she decided to do was get eradicate the humans so that she'll become the queen of the fairies. And since the fairies Mm, had you know had cloaking devices and many different ways to hide themselves from the humans her first phase of the plan was to expose the fairies to humans she planned that once the humans had seen the fairies the fairies would have no other choice but to listen to her and eradicate the humans because the fairies had the technology to do that but they did they were not hostile creatures they were not you know revengeful vengeful creatures they just wanted to live their own life and that's what they were doing Ah, oh, don't take it that this is, these are like, you know, cute fairies with, you know, uh, they're like bunny rabbits or something like that. Of course not. They have a pretty well, um, you know, uh, weapons and stuff which can easily defeat the human race any day, any time. So next time you see a fairy, run away. <laughs> I'm kidding. But of course, she planned to expose the fairies to the humans. And by doing so, she would... Uh, compel the fairies to eradicate the humans. So Artemis Fall, he goes through a series of different adventures and um, when he discovers that his two brothers are within trouble, he is pretty distraught. He manages to save Miles Fall who tells him everything about Opal's plan. Now he heads over to um, Opal's base and he moves on to try and stop her. This book had the most tragic ending in the entire of Artemis Fall series. And if you can guess that, please write down in the comments below. And if you can't, well, stay tuned for part two. So guys, that's basically it for part one. I know I did not give enough descriptive material, but um, you see in this book, it was very, very confusing. I know I said that for other, other books of Artemis Fall as well in my other videos, but this book was extra confusing. It took me at least three days to understand the entire book, even though I read it in the first day. So I read it three, four times and finally I got the story and I understood what plan, the entire master plan that Artemis Fall had coordinated from the second he knew uh, uh, Opal Cowboy was back until the end of, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say that, but if you can guess that, please write down in the comments guys and I am going to see you next time. And of course, stay tuned for part two. Of course, uh, you, can, you can give this video a like if you enjoyed my review, but later on if you read the book and you feel that my video was not sufficient, feel free to change it to a dislike. So, well, that's it for this video, guys, and I'm gonna see you guys next time.